Hi there, my name is Michael Lee of the Source Code Group, and today I'm going to go over the proposed changes to both the directory page and the file, or also known as the blob view page. And the whole idea of this redesign is to um, give these pages structure, such as title, uh, ordering of the information, uh, just general f page flow. And the second part is uh, simplifications of the actions uh, that we provide for users to interact with at both directory and page level. And I'm going to walk you through it right now. So this is um, the proposed changes for both the directory and the blob view. Um, here we can see that this drop down here drives the page. So, you know, you change the branch that will change all the uh, commit information, code owners, and uh, the different files, you know, depending on different branches. So that's common and consistent across um, directory or file. You have this copy button at both locations, so that's a common spot. So if you wanted to copy the path um, of this spot in the repository, you can, and it's the same in both worlds. Um, th there's a title for each of these areas, so this gives the page potentially the use of like an H1 uh, to dictate where you are in the page. Um, all the actions are consolidated to top right, and this aligns closely to some of the work that's been explored around you know general page uh, layouts and headings, and this is just taking that idea and implementing it in this context um, and seeing how that might work, and I think it holds up pretty well. Um, there's other bits that um, adding the history right into the commit because it's related to the commit information. When you click on history, it will link you to um, the page of all the history um, from, from this commit and onwards. And then here, and nothing too much changed from the directory and on the page information. All the actions in here have been tucked away into uh, this overflow menu or the edit button here. Um, so if we compare and contrast um, the past uh, with the pr new proposal, um, you can see that it, the drop down and everything is um, like almost in the middle of the page at the moment. Um, this brings it to the top. Um, we have a lot of actions here. Um, we have lock history, find file, edit, download, clone. And we also even have um, actions like compare at the directory level. Um, and as you can see, as the path gets longer um, and we have a lot of actions here, it will get, you know, there's lots of wrapping going on and there's lots of issues with layouts and button alignment and it's just a lot to uh, take in. It's not actions that um, you would normally take anyway. So uh, what I'm proposing we do is tuck away a lot of those actions within code. So here within code, we have clone. And within clone, we have the ability to uh, get the command for cloning from the terminal, or if you want to use your IDE. Um, actions you can do with the source code, such as downloading it uh, as a zip file, uh, locking the re directory, comparing the branch. That's the same thing as uh, these actions here, lock and compare. And then we have the idea of open with, uh, the web ID, Git pod, and your workspaces. Basically, these options here were what was once in the edit um, dropdown, but we just moved it into here. Uh, one thing that I um, decided to do is um, double down on the idea of um, having defaults. So with defaults, we have SSH as the default authentication method. And this way, it allows us to eliminate basically half of our options. So we don't need this, we don't need this, and we don't need this. And if we have our default um, ID as Visual Studio, then you kind of eliminate the choice from having these four options to just one, right? So that is the idea through here. And we would use the split button to uh, surface the other options, but by default, if the user clicks on this button, it would uh, perform that action for them, um, which is, um, I think, good from a presentation standpoint, but also a usability standpoint, because if users 
do want to go down the path of setting things as the default um, how that would look is you know they're more more accustomed to using HTTPS instead of SSH by setting it and using it that becomes the default same thing here um, you know if they decide to use IntelliJ that becomes the new default and anywhere in GitLab where you see an option to clone with your IDE it would open it would just surface this option um, and it makes it more customizable to the user for example here uh, the default is zip because it's something common used across Windows Linux Mac uh, whereas tar is more accustomed to Unix and Linux um, operating systems and tar is just one giant file and GZ and BZ2 are just compression algorithms on a tar file so they're all very related but you know if you have a preference over this algorithm over this algorithm you'll never use gzip right so you just use that one so if you chose that that becomes your personal default uh, for your um for your um gitlab interaction so we're surfacing fewer options but more specific options per users if we use this idea of the split drop downs that remember um, the user's last choice and that allows us to simplify our menu uh, greatly um, from having basically three drop down menus to one drop down menu and presenting all the options in one go so you, you can look down and see exactly what i need if i need to clone if i need to do something with source code if i need to open it within the product itself um, all the options are there uh, similarly uh, we did the same thing with uh, the blob view where we took a lot of these actions here and shoved them into the overflow menu um, the contentious one will probably be the download uh, copy file because these have been around forever in this uh, context um, but there are there's download right here uh, copy file contents and uh, opening the raw file here uh, you can view the whole blame file uh, from here as well um, lock, replace, delete. Um, delete. We're gonna surface as an action that um, you know you're gonna delete the file, so potentially highlight in red. Uh, lock and replace. You probably rarely use those actions. That's why they're near the bottom. Um, but yeah, all the actions are here. Uh, permalink at the moment. If you click on it, um, it changes the URL to a permalink. Then the user would need to go to and the browser and copy it um, here um, we're going to change that just a bit and copy permalink we'll just copy it to your clipboard just the same thing as copy path and uh, copy file contents um, yeah this um, kind of actions consolidates all of this into an overflow menu edit will still contain the current options of the single file editor or the web editor or the pipeline editor depending on your file type and that um, and that summarizes like the changes here and why we're putting everything into the overflow menu um, there's one comment that potentially may arise right now is that like you know now because of introducing the title you know i have application R rb one two three times um, and I think that's okay for now. We're just gonna maintain it for now as we figure out what we really wanna do with this area here. Um, there's some on some, you know, if we remove it, um, it's kind of weird with this just gray area, um, but potentially we could consolidate all these um, gray boxes into a simpler view. Um, here we have code owners on the overview we can like on a popover we can view the same information same thing with commit um you know the last commit um i think the date is very important um what it was not so important to display right away but perhaps hovering over this could display a popover with the same description as here um this is an idea at the moment 
because there's other stuff in flight um, that could change this layout, such as um, seeing how this looks as preview code and blame view. Um, that's something that we're experimenting with. Um, seeing if find file makes more sense to be up here. Um, yeah, this could be a future potential, but um, I'm less confident about that at the moment. Hence, we're just gonna stick with this right now and then iterate our way as we learn further about uh, these pages. Thank you.